So you have a character options classic series TARDIS. This type or any of the other variants, it doesn't really matter as technically they're all the same, bar a few cosmetic details that is. But let's just say you're going to customise one of your own or maybe you have to affect a repair or on a damaged specimen. Chances are that you'll need to open it up and take it apart. Unsure of how to do it? Wary of risking untold damage to your precious and now quite rare objet d'art? Well, stick around, let me take the mystery out of it for you and I'll show you how. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the workshop and here on the workbench, as you can plainly see, I have a Character Options 1980s TARDIS. Now, the reason why it's here is because I've been commissioned to customise it. Uh, but that's not going to be in this video, but do watch out for it. It'll be coming within the next few weeks once I've done this. But I thought, well, seeing as I am customising it, I might as well make a little video on it because I'm going to have to take it apart. And I thought that many people might find this useful, or at least interesting. I mean, I've been asked over the years, how do you dismantle it? Well, it's been quite a long time since I've actually dismantled one of these, so I, I've got a rough idea, but I'm not exactly 100% sure on it. But it can't be that difficult. But what will probably happen is I'll just stumble my way through, probably make a few mistakes, but at least if I make the mistakes, you don't have to. Now, this one doesn't work, the light doesn't flash, the sound doesn't work by all accounts, and we don't really need the electronics for what I'm going to be doing, so I am going to be just cutting those out. But what are the tools or the weapons of choice for today? Well, first of all, a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, this is quite important actually. Make sure that when you take your one apart, that's if you do do it, make sure you've got a Phillips screwdriver, which is also known as a crosshead. Do not confuse it with a posi drive, because a posi drive head has little extra facets for her pleasure. Just on the inside here. These in here are all crossheads. And the other thing you want to make sure of, when you choose your screwdriver, make sure it sits perfectly in the in the screw head. If it's too big, or if you're using a posi drive, what's going to happen is, as you twist this thing around, it's going to slip out and round the end of the head off and that's going to just introduce you into a world of pain and nobody wants that so do make sure you've got an appropriately sized Phillips or crosshead screwdriver. My other weapon of choice for today is just a simple pair of snips for cutting through the wires because we don't need the wiring or any of the circuitry I'm going to rewire it up slightly differently myself and a little receptacle to put all the bits in. So let's just crack on with this and get in through the bottom. Right, roll your sleeves up, we're going in deep, we're going in through the bottom. So let's just do lefty-loosey, not righty-tighty. Put that over there. There's only four screws in this bit. However, I've got to be cautious because when I take this off, there's a spring mechanism just behind here, so I've got to be wary of that. I don't want that pinging out going all over the place. That's the mechanism that uh, makes the door spring open and closed. So we're going to have to be a bit judicious and careful. Do not lose the screws because we may need them later. It's quite possible that I won't be using these anyway. But I can feel this already wanting to ping off, so let's just take it easy. Yeah, there it is, it's already fighting me. And there we go, there's that off. As you can see, here's all the parts, that's the, the spring release for the door. There's the mechanism that allows it to click open and close. I mean, this one doesn't actually work terribly well anyway, it doesn't ever seem to want to stay open. Uh, there's your main master on-off switch, we can take that right off now, that comes off, that can go in there. There's your uh, dematerialization and rematerialization switch. That's just, I think that was just on a spring on a little switch here. And then there's your main motherboard, if you want to call it that, where all the electronics go inside it to the speaker and to the light at the top. So as you can see, there's some more sp uh, screws here, but let's just take that out. There's your release. Don't need that. Don't need this. Just realised I need a different type of screw. Oh no, 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 no! I can get that out. Take the spring out. Again, this is a screw that is screwed directly into the pivot of the door, 
and wrapped around that is a coiled wire that comes up to here and that that's basically your spring to allow the door to go in and closed open there you go in and spring back so i do need to remove that let's just do that now hold the door there it goes that, that was the spring clicking out i don't need any of this i don't think because i think i'm going to replace all this anyway There's the spring. Need to just undo that one there. Come on, in you go. And it's at times like this when I realise I'm not wearing my glasses and I really should be. And take that spring out. That can go in there. What else can come undone? And let's try doing this. So these are screwing the base plate into the corner post. There's one. Two. Oh, they're all different colours. Okay. Three. And four. If you ever get a screw that's stuck, sometimes it's a good idea to go righty tighty and then lefty loosey. Or if it's really stuck, get a bit of WD-40 and just squirt it in there. But for something like this, it should be okay. The toy isn't that old. So, now, I need to start taking this base off. Easy, easy. Oh, there I go. Being gentle with it. Treat it like your missus. It's just catching on there. Let me try moving it down this way. Take this door out of the way, don't need that. I don't want to snap the pin unless there's... Is there another one in there? Nah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter to be honest because I'm not going to be using this base anyway on the conversion, but let me try and persuade it. Back again with some extra tools. Let's see what's going on here. Can I slide that in? There we go. And what's holding it now? Just turn it around. Oh, it's quite possibly, all, yeah, it's the electronics by the looks of it. Let's take that door out. And yes, yeah, it looks to be like the electronics in there that's holding it down. So I will probably need, is there anything, ah, I'll tell you what, not that it's going to make much difference, but I suppose we could take some of this off, because it's quite tightly wound in the back there, just inside, sort of here, I don't know whether you can see that, uh, I suppose I could take off the battery box, let's just change the angle. Right, it is all kind of caught up inside here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to release these four screws here and see if that gives me a bit more purchase. So unfortunately you're not going to be able to see me do it, but just bear with me. So, one screw. Two screws. Three, and there's the fourth. Like I said, I don't need to keep any of the electronics in this. Let's just see if I can pull that battery cover out. So yeah, there's the, the cover. Let's just put that my little box. And yeah, why there we go. We can cut. We can cut all of that in there away. There's your speaker down there. So crack open the old snips and I'm just going to go into here. Um, one, two, you probably can't see any of this, but it doesn't really matter, and three, and four. There we go. So the electronics there, all that can come out, I'll do that a bit later on. And here we have the speaker that comes out, 
and that's the back end of your battery box in there. So as you can see there are four more screws here, there's two there and two there, and then there's four screws actually upside, up inside here, and I need to take those out as well. Now, I can't quite remember how this works, I think I've got to undo these first, then gingerly take this off, so yeah, let's try that shall we? Where's that screwdriver gone? So let's take out... Hmm, should I take those out? Tell you what, I'll undo them anyway. One. Two. Three. Let's put those over there. And then take out the fourth one. Come on, out you come. Nope, you don't want to, do you? I can see that. There you are. So, and now, I'm trying to see oh, how am I going to get my hand in there? Said the vicar. Right. Really, I could do with a longer reach screwdriver, but I haven't got one that's small enough, as in head size. It's all right, just you watch me struggle, it's fine. Okay, I've managed to get most of the screws out of the ceiling. I'll just put those over there. And I'm starting to just ease my way around with this, this pallet knife seeing if I can persuade the roof to come off now. Now I want to be very gentle about this. Not too gentle, but gentle enough. And see if I can get this thing to come up. What you don't want to do is force it too much, otherwise the plastic could well crack and we don't want that happening. So I'm just going to work my way around. I suppose you could do it with a screwdriver. But, uh, yeah, I really wouldn't. Just get it up slightly. There we go. Look, it's starting to come free. I mean, this thing, if I remember rightly, has some pegs in it. Let me just try this dental tool. Excuse my hands for a moment. There we go. You can see it's starting to come out. Okay, let's see. Oh, nearly there. Nearly there. Perhaps if I tack it from down here. Come on, you can do it. There's one of the screws coming out. Just going to swing this round and do it from the back. Again, I don't want to put too much pressure on it. I can see this corner post cap here is still quite jammed in. So here we go. I'm just going to try and persuade it. Come in with the dental tool again. Come on you. Always one wants to be difficult. I mean if it does break it doesn't matter too much. I can always fix that later but I really rather it wouldn't break. Is there another screw or something in holding it in? If only I had a torch. Ta-da! No, it's just being difficult. Let's switch that off. There we go. And there's the roof off. Actually, let's just cut through there. Uh, let's be generous and go down there. So there's the roof. 
In there is the lamp and the LED. We'll uh, take that out later on. And what are we left with? Just a couple of pieces here and then that's it. So yeah, let's do that. Final couple of screws, it's just these two here. Let's get on with that and pull that out. So what I'm going to do is this is going to release this plate here. Just take that one out, careful, carefulling into the receptacle. There we are. Take that out. Now that should have released this frontest piece. There we go. That's off. That can go over there. And now, let's see if I can slide this all out. There you go, that's the plate that holds the whole thing together. Uh, there's your little door spring there. Could take that apart as well, I guess. Now let's take the walls apart now. How does that happen? Uh, here's where my memory is failing me. I think, does that pull out that way? I can't remember. Oh, there you go. This one just slides out that way. Actually, I can see two screws down here. Let's put those over there before we lose them. So, there's one plate there. That just sort of slid out. Now, let's see if I can do the same with this one. Ah, there you go. There. As you can see, I've miraculously reorganized everything down here. And the reason being is that just as I was about to undo all this stuff here, I ran out of battery power. That serves me right for trying to start a project with only half power. So here we are. I'm just about to take off the pull to open sign and this window, and then we'll do some of the other bits. So starting with the old trusty screwdriver, let's start that. So this one is just kept in by two screws. And I shall just remove that one, put it in with the others, and do the same here. Now you'll see that just lifts off like that. There's your little phone piece, and inside there is the door that just pops out. And it's the same with the window that just drops out. Now, looking at all the other windows, for example, these ones here, they don't come apart as easily as this one. They're actually glued in. This little piece here is glued in. Now, while I was waiting for the battery to charge, I did have a little test, and I sort of put this in there and uh, tried to persuade it out with these. One is sort of at a point where I could potentially break it off, but all the others aren't, so for this purpose I'm not going to bother pulling them apart. However, you may be luckier, yours may not be glued in as well as these are, so you could, in theory, take those parts out. So anyway, I've done that, so let's just put those over there, pop these away in our little safety jar. And what else can we do? Let's, let's look at the roof. So the roof is essentially three pieces. It's this, the lamp piece and the mechanics, well not the mechanics, the electronics inside. So again, just a couple of screws. I'm going to pull this out. There's one. And the second one. Pull that out. So now I'm going to take that out. And there it is. So there's your LED there. I might check that later and see if that's actually still working. So that can go away. And then your lamp. It's just a piece that clips up inside there. Now there is a specific way around. And that goes in that way. Now you may be wondering why there's this circular piece here. Well that is actually part of the design. There was a, a lower piece and an upper piece. So for that... I'm going to take those away and plonk that up there. What else can we take apart? Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll come to that one in a minute. Let's do the easy piece, and that's this one. This is the little spring for the, uh, the pull-to-open panel door. 
So that sits in like that, and doop. So, yeah, I might as well take that out. I mean, I'm never going to use it in the custom. So let's just take that out. And if I can afford to do that. Don't need any of this. So that's your catch plate and screw that can go in there and a spring. Again, I, w I won't be using this. So, oh yeah, little, that's the little nub in there. Don't need that. I will reuse this in the custom, but you'll see how I'm gonna do that later. Jump cut, sorry about that, technical issues. I think we've also developed another issue now and that's to do with the microphone. For some reason, even though it's brand new, I only got it for my birthday back in the, in the summer, or the tail end of the summer, and for some reason it's humming, and uh, I don't know what to do about that. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. I've, I've tried all sorts of things. It just does it when it wants to, so if you can hear it, that means I've not been able to do anything about it in post. But anyway, let's, let's carry on with this. Um, we've got the base here. I am just going to take it apart. I don't really need to, but uh, I might as well while I'm here. So let's take off the board. There's one screw, the other screw. I mean, I could reuse this, but to be honest, the guy that I'm doing this for does not want it to make sounds anyway. And uh, I'm, I've got a feeling that I'm just going to rewire it to my own design anyway, so. All right, it looks like, I actually, I could reuse that, but it is, Actually, do I want to cut that like that? Turn it over and let's have a look. I'll tell you what. Be generous and cut it there. Right. No, is there one I've missed? Yep. So, yeah, keep that. I will probably reuse that. So what's going on here? Uh, oh yeah, the little on-off switch here. Spring, luckily that didn't ping off and get me in the eye. Uh, this is all hot glued, that's soldered on so that can come off. There's the board. That pretty much can go in the bin because I'm never going to use that. And then this little, it's like a reed switch. In fact it is a reed switch. Can't get that out for some reason. Hmm, do I want to ruin? I'll tell you what, if I had a pair of pliers, actually I do have a pair of pliers, where is it? So sort of a, a Leatherman knockoff, it was given to me back in the mid-1990s by my childhood best friend. Yeah. Nope, doesn't want to come out. You may not want to, but it damn well is. No, okay. There we go. So as you push your little button, your dematerialization button, it opens and closes that little contact there. That can go in the bin. And that is everything dismantled. The whole lot. Hooray, the hum's gone. All it took was for me to take the extension cord out from the mic. But anyway. The TARDIS, it's completely disassembled into all its constituent parts and it was a lot easier than I thought. So hopefully it gives you the courage to go and do yours if you need to. So whether you're customising yours or you need to run some sort of repair, now you know how to take it apart. Taking it apart is easy, putting it back together is an entirely different matter. So hopefully you remember once you've done it one way, you can do it the other way just in reverse. So. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful or useful or at least entertaining to you. And I shall speak to you again soon.